So I know you've been keeping up with all the new Diddy oh, revelations, yes. right? Oh, so yes. we had him get sued by multiple people, claiming Too multiple many. things. Uh, everything from him assaulting and violating men, women, everything in between, right. young women. Uh, now we have the new lawsuit where he's being accused of even crazier things and even mm. leading other celebrities into doing these things. And a lot of the talk that we've had recently between him and even with Cat Williams right. about like these secret celebrity cabals where they can do anything. Right. And no one tells. Well, there was an influence named the Fat Jew. That's not my name. That's his name. Hey, that's and what he put out there. <laughs> the Fat Jew. And not only that, but he's a big influencer slash a pretty big actor as well. And he was famous more in the like last like five, ten years. Okay. But when I show you to you, you'll remember him because I didn't like you'll remember his face. You probably won't know where you remember him from. But he has a Diddy story that is crazier. Oh, my than, gosh. Than pretty much. I'm not going to say crazier than... He has a Diddy story that is as crazy as everything else we heard. And he put it out before we knew all of this. So he oh. has been talking about this story for a while. But and nobody listened. Exactly. And he recently just brought it up again. And it's pretty crazy. What's happening recently was that with the whole cancellation of Diddy... You know, Diddy got canceled. with Because of Cassie? Like she point. took it back, though. I know, but like it's unclear. So he... But this was something I've been talking about for years because... He, it's like a, now a documented thing that I saw him like at a party in Miami. Like I was at a party in Miami that I should not have been at, like some real black <laughs> excellent shit that I was not deserving to be at, but I went with a DJ. Yeah. And I took ecstasy and I ended up wandering around in some mansion on Star Island and I ended up walking, I guess it was his mansion. And I end up, it's all like just hot, it's all hot black people. Yeah. And then just like one moron with an afro and everyone's like, how do Oh, right, when you had an they're afro. They're like, whose man is this? <laughs> yeah. But I came in and I basically saw him, I walked in a room I shouldn't have walked into and I saw him like hooking up with a dude, basically like full spooning situation. This guy, Felix the house cat, who's like a producer, whatever. I then told the story on a podcast and then his people called me and were like, you need to say you were joking. Like say you're a funny guy and like you made it up for the yeah. views. And I was yeah. like, but I, no, but I did not. I saw it. And he saw me when I came in. Were you like, like a little scared? Yes. Yeah, Cause everyone <laughs> in the room like stopped. Cause I opened the door and was like, is this the bathroom? And everyone was like, no, this is a room where like celebrities, like oh. male celebrities hook up. <laughs> it's like some glitterati shit. Yeah. Um, and then he basically had people call me and like threaten me and like tell me that if I didn't take it back and say I was joking. And you still didn't take it back? Yes, no. Why? And then I talked about it on Hot 97 and they wouldn't air it. Um, Ebro, who does the morning show on Hot 97, they, so Hot 97 always kept me on a pre-record because mm. they were like, what are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. They would never let me do a live interview. And I told the story and then afterwards he was like, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to run this interview because like Diddy's insane and he'll, like he blew up Kid Cudi's car and all this so shit. How, and I, and I, I feel was like, like you did that on purpose. Like you're like, you wanted to see if he what he'd do to you. No, I wanted to get killed by Diddy. <laughs> but now, pe now everyone just found out that he like blows up people's Kid Cudi finally told the story. Oh, he did. I've been did? saying this for years. I've been like, oh, oh Kid Cudi is cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate yeah. when they talk about black like, culture, but with people who don't give a shit about At all. like they don't. She don't They're care. making a joke out of all of yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, and look, some of it can be funny, but right? it's just the fact that she doesn't care. Like she don't. She He's was like cute, right? Even the fact that he had to start the conversation off with, "Well, you know, did he got canceled? How don't you know that? They're right? Like, what? She's not involved in any type of black culture. Exactly. But anyway, the story is crazy. Um. I don't know. I believe him. He sounds like he's telling the absolutely truth. Yeah, there's no way he... I don't feel like he's lying. The yeah. way he's saying it so smoothly, the way his details are the same, X, Y, and Z, he's talking about it like... Yeah, this happened. Like, I don't know why y'all are so surprised that all this stuff is coming out now. And it's very crazy that the whole him, that the whole alleged blowing up of Kid Cudi's car by Diddy was such an open industry secret and still, like, nothing happened to this man. Even to nothing. this day, nothing has happened to this man. I don't understand it. Like, I like do everyone not knows, get it. like, it's for sure Diddy. Like, it's not nobody else. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's already been allegedly accused of, you know, paying for the right. hit on Tupac. So I mean, probably wouldn't be the first time he's put money on someone's head. But the fact that he did that, or the because last, he, exactly, and the fact that you know it was so palatable, the fear that people had of him in the industry, right. like we're not doing none of this, like we not, it's been we not very playing well this known. game, like we're not playing this game, fam. It's so, been known not with Diddy, exactly for so, years. 
and now we're seeing it all fall down and people turn on them. But it's like for every person that comes forward, there's another 10 to probably what, 30 that know. Now I probably even say more than that. Probably like another 20 to 30 people for every yeah. person that pops up that says something. Yeah. That knows of, that was around, that saw something, it hurt something. It's like when you see one roach, there's a hundred more waiting behind a cabinet door somewhere. But like, like. We said, but like we keep hearing, you know, everyone's covered by the idea of mutual destruction. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, it's hard for you unless you really wasn't doing nothing. Right. To come out and say something if you were in that room because then now people go wonder why you were in that room. Right. Like, were you being a part of it? And I really feel like, and this is just my conspiracy theorist portion of me, that all these people are getting older that have probably signed NDAs oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day and some stuff. And now they're like, look, I got money behind me. My career is successful enough to yeah. where I'm going to start telling the truth. And this dude needs to be stopped type situation. I feel like that's what's happening a lot. Well, the second the light is pulled back and there's no protection like that whole like we're too afraid to. Right. Like, right. It's up now. Like, right. Yeah. I, I think all bets are off. So even when, I feel like now he's more of an OG. You really shouldn't be dealing with him now. Yeah. Like, but once. Once the Cassie thing broke and he yeah. paid that money in like 24 hours, oh, less yeah. than 20, we was done. Everybody, that's Everybody all like, the confirmation, nigga. That nobody needed to hear nothing else. We heard about it. She's telling the truth. Boom, she gets paid. You, get, you ain't giving this woman no 30, 50 million dollars for nothing. And that's changed to him, which is crazy. I don't think, but here's the thing. I don't think it's changed. I think. Because you got to think about it. When you're a billionaire, a lot of times you're a billionaire in theory. <laughs> exactly. And resources. And worse. So that 30 million, that was a big chunk out of his probably working cash. Yeah. Like I got a freak, like a cash I just got on hand. Yeah. Like you probably ain't got 500 million in cash that he can pull from somewhere. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? He'd have to sell this or put, pull exactly. this out so of there. So let's say you got what? Let's say you got... 200 million in cash. I, even that sounds crazy. But let's say you got 200 million in cash. Bro, you can't take it's, too many of them 30, 50 million dollar hits, G. Because then you're going to be looking real 50 cent-ish. Exactly. So I don't know. I think it's a bad look. I think that, honestly, at this point, it's going to be hard for anybody to defend it. I don't think that his legacy or him makes it out of this. No. I think I think it's going to, we're going to get gonna this. going to fall. We're going to get this all 2024. Mm -hmm. And by it's gonna be like another Bill Cosby situation. All these people coming out by twenty twenty five. Diddy won't have the same name. Mm -mm. I don't. I, and They're I, gonna soil his legacy. I mean, he do, has done foul things apparently, and allegedly. Gonna, and to be honest, though, I think a big reason, and this goes to show his grip on the culture, a big reason why Diddy hasn't been roasted to the degree that he should have been. Uh, by black media is because of how heavy into black media he is. He controls Mo a lot. Most of the big podcast, Drink Champs, uh, Joe Budden Park, even though they're not directly signed to him, he has business with him and has a show with Diddy. Right. So Joe Budden, Drink Champs, uh, the Big Facts show, all these uh, Drink Champs and Big Facts are signed to Revolt. He's like, feeding too many people. Exactly. He's but feeding too many these, people. A lot of these people got directly put on or got a big check through him. You get what I'm saying? So they can't just tomorrow decide like, hey, we're going to tear you down. So a lot of people... he's going to say, boop, pulling my funding. So a lot of people, or even not even that, it's just the... I think part of it is principle. And then some of these relationships have been built over a decade, two, three decades. Like, and you that's know that whole snitches get stitches mentality. But my thing is, if someone is doing something wrong, you should you shouldn't feel comfortable as a person to not well, speak on it. If it's changing somebody's life, if it, you know, like no, bigger things, well, little I think stuff. It's All right. one of those situations where I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to let them talk. But I do think it's kind of weird to watch podcasters who have an entire job of having a take, mm -hmm. then get here, and then their takes get real white, real fast. They go back to that other interview where uh, Meg Thee Stallion, she, her friend, was being very yeah. hush about her answers. Like, they, they start to answer stuff real different. That's why I don't like it. So, and then I, I just seen certain situations where 
a lot of times when you see something, if like in his situation, he saw something crazy, right. but you're not around Diddy all the time. So you right. know, and then at that time, that's Could not this necess- be a one off? Yeah, that's not necessarily illegal. You no. know, like that's just two men having, in there. Yeah, having you know. fun. You know what I'm saying? So that's not nothing wrong. If anything, you just exposing that he down low, but I mean That's not even nothing in 2024. Like matter of fact, you'll probably get canceled for doing that. Right, for exposing him. That was his truth to tell. Exactly. But it's of course it's because it's wrapped up in everything else. So right, it's just right. kinda another strike against him when it comes to does this line up with everything else we've heard about Diddy at this because point? Because it's like all the chips are falling into place. Everybody's story is starting to line up in a congruent timeline that stuff makes sense. Yeah. And I think that's that's gonna pull against him. Yeah, I don't I don't I mean I think his legacy has been trashed so far, but I think t- to the end of twenty four at least we're gonna get more accusations, more stories. This ain't going nowhere. And his kids are getting dragged into it. That's the worst part. Yeah, and they're gonna have to I don't know what these media personalities are gonna do other than keep ignoring it. I don't think they can go back now and try to act like their bastions are right. true. But I think we just need to keep track. Like keep like I like when you see these guys who talk all the time and all of a sudden get real hush mouth around this shit. I feel I'm like bro, you. like look it, I understand not piling on when your right. boy is getting his shit rocked. But at pause, the same time. But, <laughs> <laughs> pause. But at the same time, like bro, at a certain point, you gotta you gotta You stand, gotta see it. Come on, G. Cause you gotta stand on something. Cause right now, if you you falling for everything, cause y'all ain't standing on no type of business. And then it'd be the guys be like, Well, I left the parties early. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was always yeah. having to go home to my family and my kids. So yeah. I ain't see that part of the party. Yeah, yeah. Coincidentally, you saw right. it. Right. It was on all the pitches, but you ain't. But at the end of the night, you wasn't there. 